Hey guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, we'll be creating a map selection in a widget. So first off, we're gonna create a new folder, call this one Maps, and we're just gonna put all our previous maps. And now let's open that up, and let's go in Files up here, New Level, and let's create a default level. Now what I'm making right now is just another level that won't be a whole tutorial on that it's just showing you guys how i'm going to make this it's just going to be a little valley so i'm going to select down here our landscape that we created in one of our videos it's going to be called landscape so i'm going to slide that in there i'm going to create it it's going to look black at the beginning but what we have to do is go and paint and add the grass texture texture Right now we only have one map and it's the one that we've been creating so far. Now I'm just going to be creating a valley. So I'm going to add the grass here and add the rock and add the sand. Make sure to check out the video where I created this. I'll put a pop up on the screen right now. And now let's go in maps and just save it to there and let's call it map one or two now we have this plain old field here let's go in the landscape mode which we are already in and let's go and sculpt the tool is a bit small right now so let's make this bigger And then I won't go through the whole thing, I'll just put a time lapse. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Okay, so that's mostly done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create the road. So in our landscape, I'm going to select it and create. Also, that's something that I made in another tutorial that I'll leave up on the screen, which you guys can do for yourself. You can just can create a road. If you haven't already, check it out. Okay, so now we're going to go in our widget folder and create a new widget. This one's going to be called map. And that's where we'll be selecting our map selection. Now let's open that up. And let's add an image for the background. And the background will just be the same image that we had in our other, in our menu. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. I'll leave a pop-up on the screen. And now I'm going to add a text. Select map. So this will be our select map widget. 
size the content, I'm just going to bring it down and put it to light. Now I'm going to center it to the middle and the alignment, align to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I'm going to change this to zero and then bring it down a bit. I'm going to align it to the top instead, the anchor, so that it's always at the top of the screen, whatever dimension it is. Now, let me take a screenshot of this map so that we can have a reference photo in the map selection so that the people that are playing the game can see what the map they're selecting is going to be. Right here looks like a good shot. So I'm going to go in the drop down right next to perspective and do higher resolution screenshot. And I'm just going to take screenshot, open that up, and I'm going to slide this in our widget folder. I'm going to put in a new image, size that. And I'm going to go back here, do F2. I'm going to copy the name. I'm going to paste it in here just so I can get it faster. And I'm going to make it a bit bigger. That's a bit too big. And that seems perfect for me. Now I'm going to add a text, which will be the name of the map. And this will just be called Valley. Oops, two L's. I'm going to put it to light. Scale it up and do size to content also. I'm going to put it at 70. Now the I'm going to align it to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. The X is going to be 0, position 0. I'm just going to center it. Put 0 again. Now I'm going to move this on top of our image. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. And there you go. And now I'm going to add a button over it. Scale it up. And now on the right, on press, on hover. So first I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the opacity all the way down. And then on hovered, I'm going to bring it to black and not all the way down so that when you hover over it it's just gray and you know what you're hovering on top and on pressed I'm going to put that to black and now bring the opacity not all the way down again to 0.3 and there you go now on clicked I'm going to open level by name and the name of the level is going to be in our content browser in the maps Select F2, click it, F2, copy. I'm going to go back here and paste it, so map 2, so that you have the exact name. If it's even a capital off, it will not work, so make sure you have it really precisely. And now let me take a screenshot of this map 2. In the drop down, select high resolution screenshot, take the screenshot, and there you go. Now I'm going to put that in our widget folder. And I'm going to duplicate the image that we already have. Now I forgot to align anchor it so I'm going to anchor it to the center delete that and I'm also going to anchor the others so the button I'm going to duplicate the picture I'm going to get the same Y position so I can be at the same level it does not have to be on the same X if not it would be overlapping each other right And now, 
I'm going to go copy the name of the new picture that we dragged in. So in our widget folder, oh, it deleted. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to re-import it. There you go. Now for the name, I'm going to click F2, copy, go in here, paste it, and there you go. Now let me copy over the valley, the word. So just the control W right there. And I'm going to move it. I'm going to just move it in front of the other draw the picture. And I'm going to call this one forest. And now I'm going to copy the button over. So I'm going to do control W and slide that right over it. Now if I scroll all the way down and I do on clicked, I'm going to do the same thing. So open level by name. And the name will be, I'm going to click F2 again, copy. And I'm going to paste in the exact name. And there you go. Now, if we go in our menu, and I go on top of the button there for the play, the play button. And I do, I view the on click command. I can delete that open level. And what I'm going to do is just create a widget. So you can look up create widget. I'm going to select our map widget. Now I'm going to do remove. From parent. You know what? I'm actually going to take that off. And out of there, I'm going to do add to viewport. And slide in the target into the return value. I'm also going to do get player controller. Out of that, I'm going to do show mouse cursor and tick that. There you go. Now, if I go back to our menu map, open that up and click play. Now we can choose our, our maps. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And make sure to check out my other videos. And if you enjoyed, you can leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe.